if you had to pick one or two that you have to see between now and Sunday for the people out there that just haven't seen it, and then there's some movie theaters opening up, but if they had to go find one that you're like, you've got to see this before Sunday night, which movie would it be? Or is it the three that I mentioned that I've already seen? The, 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 those three are good. I would also say that the theaters are opening up, but I believe, and I have here, I'll, I'll, you know, pitch my own stuff here. They, I, we did a, a sort of a, a, a thing with all of my reviews of, of, of the nominated films. I believe you can stream everything at this point. Okay. Um, now some of that requires a subscription, but, uh, but it's not, for, I would say, I mean, I, I, there's not a dog in the bunch. I mean, my favorite movie of the year was Minari. Um, but I really liked, uh, Nomadland, which I believe you liked it, right? You, I um, love Nomadland. Yeah. I love Nomad. You really, the, the you really liked Mank. Yeah, yeah, I did. The father was very uncomfortable because we are in that space right now with, I'll just pull the curtain back over. We're in that space right now within our family. And so that movie within 10 minutes, I'm looking at my wife saying, oh boy, this is not going to be good because this is hitting way too close to home. It's about dementia and aging parent and, um, and all that. And with a terrific performance from Anthony Hopkins. Yes, um, it was great. A, a thing interesting about that film just briefly is that typically when we have movies about dementia, it's from the point of view of a family member or someone taking care of the person who is maybe losing their faculties or something. This is more from the point of view of the person who has dementia. Right. And it really requires the, a great performance from Hopkins to pull it off. But I think, but it is uncomfortable. Um, I mean, I really liked Judas and the Black Messiah. I thought it was terrific. Um, and uh, some people are kind of split on this, but if you just want an entertaining movie, Aaron Sorkin makes entertaining movies Yes, he does. Uh, because he's a good writer. Uh, the Trial of the Chicago 7, uh, I really enjoyed. And, uh, and Sasha Baron Cohen may, may get a uh, supporting actor uh, win out of that. I don't know. We'll see. Goody is with us. Before I get you out of here, and you can check all of Bill's content out at AZ Central. Of course, she film critic for Gannett with the Academy Awards coming up this Sunday night. Are you comfortable going back to a theater? Not yet. Um, I will. Uh, I'm vaccinated, but I will uh, follow Dr. Fauci's uh, most recent. Uh, you know, I'm going to go with the science guy. I don't know. Instead, yeah. Maybe as opposed to the guy that watched, a ha- you know, 15 minutes of Tucker Carlson or something. I think I'll go with <laughs> I'll go with the guy who's been doing this all of his life. Um, and his thing is. Don't go back into inside to restaurants yet. Don't go back into theaters where people have to take off their mask and drink and that sort of thing. It's just, it, it, you know, we're we're so close. Let's get all the way across the finish line before we uh, before we um, before we start doing things completely normally again. Although I don't know that anything will be. All right. So I got so, a feeling I'm going to be wearing a mask in a supermarket for a long time. Well, but it, but to to the, the question being, if they were to go out to see a movie that they have to see in a theater right now, because, you know, the difference between living room and in a theater. Are there any of those? Because there may be people saying, look, I'm ready to go out to a theater. OK, then if you are, see this movie before Sunday in a big screen. You know, of all of them, they're they're all. And as you said, a lot of it, it's you intimated that a lot of people haven't seen all of these. Right. But they tend to be kind of smaller movies this year that, that I don't think necessarily cry out for a, a, a big screen. I mean, Mank would look great on a big screen, but it's never going to be on a big screen no. again because it's on Netflix. Yeah. And they're not going to they're, they're not going to give that up. So, I mean, but I think that that now before people get mad at you when they rush off to see Mank. It isn't black and white. <laughs> they, um, some people don't like that. And they, uh, but, um, but I think that that was, but it's, it's beautifully shot. I mean, I think that would look great on like the biggest screen pop. And I know you always think of action movies and stuff or what you want to see on that. I think that movie would look fantastic on a, on a big screen. 